Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Give us a couple minutes, we'll get started. Uh, interesting, interesting setup, right? I mean, everything is good. We're not trying to get the new highs yet, but we want to. Morgan Stanley talking out there with, with Zuka. Think about this. Mike Wilson says we're going to 3,300. Morgan Stanley says uh, earnings are coming down for the Dow. And Morgan Stanley, the company says no recession, market's going to go up. We're not going to go up anymore. Think about this. Three different views from Morgan Stanley. Think about this. You, you can't even make this shit up. I mean, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, what just happened? SPX just took off. Is this what I just see? Hold on a second. Something just happened. No, it didn't. So what is... Oh, okay. That's a different... Sorry. 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 Ne next month. I was just interesting. I got next, 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 not next one. Tomorrow's SPX is up too. And I was looking at the wrong one. Okay. Okay. Nothing happening. Nothing happening. That's what I thought. Okay. So Pan W today uh, added to the SPX. So that one's going to move. So keep an eye on that Pan W setup. Guys, I'm going to be getting on here at most of the times we'll start at 925. But if I get on five minutes early, get on five minutes early. Okay. Just because. Here and there we have a few problems, and if I need to adjust the problems, I'm not just going to sit here for five minutes, okay? So get here five minutes early. If we can get going, we'll get going. If we don't, we don't, okay? So it's so just interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, and then we have all these things uh, set up, MDB set up. If it takes out 394, it's a huge trade. It will really, really go. Tesla take out 216. Think about Friday and Sam's numbers. Through 209 is 216, and it's hard. And it goes to 216, and it can't get through. And then it drops three, and now it's through. Okay? Very straightforward. Now, different ways to trade. Now, I've been telling people on Twitter, and it's really fascinating to me I, what you really learn, that the ignorance, there are a lot of ignorant people in the world. Okay? There are a lot of ignorant people in the world. When you tell them, if you want to buy something for a dollar and you want a 50% stop, that's buying it for 50 cents, right? Worth 50 cents. Now, I understand you get less contracts. Now, if you want to make that point, I understand that, okay? You get less leverage. But you can't make the point that that doesn't work. Really doesn't work? Really? You go buy Lamb Research at a dollar, I mean at $2, you're going to sell it at one. You buy that two and it goes to 20 cents and then goes to $20, $20, not $2, $20, okay? Tesla, you buy two, you want to buy two, so you only, uh, I mean, you only put in half of it, 100 instead of 200, it goes to worth $20 and then it goes to worth 20,000. It works, Okay. Okay, it works. Very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. So keep an eye on that. Uh, a lot of things near breakout levels again. Okay, the whole market is near a breakout level. Now today, this week, the whole thing. Oh, the Fed's going to issue all this treasuries. There's no, there's no money in the system and all this stuff. Do you really, really think? Do you really think and believe that Yellen and the government doesn't know this already? Do you really believe that? Okay? These, these are things amateurs are tweeting this stuff. Amateurs. Do you think the government is going to put out bonds and cripple the market 500 points? Okay? It doesn't work that way, guys. It doesn't work that way. Get smarter. Okay? And then, then you'll learn. Okay? You'll learn. Friday, we jumped into deer because... If they're saying now no recession, then deer and caterpillar and wind start to move. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But this is what you you look for. Okay? The news is positive. 4,300 is hard. Now, another guy tweets out there, very interesting, and because I don't believe in any of this stuff. Okay? I, I, I simplify it down to the simplest levels. Guy says, the gamma, 
you know, I don't give a shit about gamma, delta, whatever. You know, it's all meaningless in, in stocks, okay? It, it, may, it may be meaningful if you're interested in trading it for six months, okay? But he's there saying the gamma at 43.90, everything is going to reverse and go down. Okay, I, I don't have a problem with that. But go look at his tweets for the last six months. Gamma says it's not going to break 44,000. 40, it won't break 4,100. Gamma and Delta says 4,200 is so hard it won't get through. No chance. He's wrong on every single thing. He's wrong on every single thing. And amazing to me how these guys get 500 retweets. I have no clue. Just, just amazing to me. Okay. Okay. MDB. Why did we know MDB? Because if you believe in AI, that means you're going to need more data storage and databases, and you're going to have to parse the databases. That's snow and the other stuff, right? Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay, one more thing here. There's a new, it's not a stock, it's an ETF. And you guys can look this up. It's called CHAT, C-H-A-T, C-H-A-T, okay? Keep an eye on this one. It's at $28. If you believe in AI, and AI comes in in the next two years, I'm pretty sure I would think that this gets to 200 or 300. It's the ETF. And if you go look at all the components of it, I have them on my phone here. Hold on. Let me read off the components because it's, it's really, really interesting. Uh, okay. So here's the components of this ETF. NVIDIA, Microsoft. Alphabet, Baidu, uh, iFly Tech, I don't know, that's the one I didn't know. Sense Time, Adobe, Advanced Micro, Marvell, Tencent, C3 AI, Salesforce, Baba, Amazon, uh, ANET, Meta, Supermicro, IBM, Palantir, Apier, Snap, I don't know why it's in there. ServiceNow, Shutterstock, so these, these are the components. All the components are all the ones we play in AI. So if you believe that this and you're looking for an ETF, there's your ETF, C-H-A-T. Now, if AI goes to shit, this is five bucks, but it's not bad. I'll probably buy a bunch of shares of this thing and just sit on it, right? Uh, so it's something new, something new. It's an interesting, interesting play. Um, not for options, just for <laughs> you buy it and hold it. Okay, NVIDIA down. NVIDIA down five. Let it go down. We sold this week. Look, we bought them at 330. They went to six. They went back to 330 and we sold them. Why did we sell them? Because it's not acting right. They're just letting it sit there. They're just letting it sit there. Okay? Uh, we'll probably buy some Amazon too, just because if this news comes, this thing is going to open at 132. Okay? Uh, so keep an eye on that. Uh, what else? That's about it news wise. Look. <laughs> The government's going to issue securities. Who cares? Who cares? It's not relevant. Like, see, and, and here's the other thing. The other thing you got to watch. If somebody has been short for the last two, three weeks, they've got completely butchered, and they keep pressing the shorts, that means they don't understand the basics of trading. The basics are trading options. I mean, I'm not talking buy and hold stuff. I'm t is play what's moving, get in and get out, and roll up. Because on any day, it can go against you. It's, it's, it's very, very simple to me. And somebody telling you that we're going to collapse, we're going to collapse, we're going to collapse, we're going to collapse, we're going to collapse every single day for a month, and it never happens. At what point do you just stop following? What point do you start looking at charts? Think about this uh, trend spider. You know, they, these guys that do trend spider. They posted five charts when NVIDIA was at, at 260, saying that NVIDIA has a monster head and shoulders or whatever it was, and it was going to collapse to 200. Posted it for two weeks in a row. And then it didn't happen. And it kept going up. And then they start posting the other way. See, that, that's, that's okay, because they realized they were wrong, 
and they changed their mind. Now, if they would have kept posting it, this other next 140 points, then you say the whole company is worth shit. Okay? But they, they reversed directions and they got smarter. That's what people have to do. It's okay to be wrong. It's not okay to stay wrong. Okay? So don't do that. Go slow. Build your account slowly and then take some shots when it happens. That's it. It's not rocket science. Go slow. Okay? People are doing so good. The people that have gone slow and then they caught one, put it in video, bought five contracts, caught it for 40 points or 50 points, so they have 25 grand. Then they went to Adobe with 10 contracts, and so now they have 80 grand. Then they went to NBDB, and, and now they have 150 grand. And they only did five crans or 1,000 to start with. And you got to catch the first one, and you go slow. So you never get upset, and you can do better and better and better. Very, very straightforward. Very straightforward. Don't overdo it. On any day, we can go right back down 150, 150, and then you're in down week for two or three weeks, and then back up. The market's fine. It's going to go higher over time. Everything is better. Next week is a CPI, I believe. If that comes in with a 2.9, market's at 4,500, probably 4,600 on that. 4,600 if it comes in at 2.8, 2.9. Wow. Now somebody said, but Sam, what if it comes in at 4.9? Then we're probably down 150. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, let's get started. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Stocks go up, stocks go down, then we see, then we see, then we see. SPX doing nothing, so we're in, like no man's land. I'm actually looking at the, the 4320s on my screen uh, for tomorrow. Uh, just because if we get near 4300 and we break it, way up. Okay, if we don't, then right back down. Haven't done anything with it, so just chill and chill and chill. Okay, uh, downside 4261. 4,200, obviously, 4,181. Okay, upside, 4,309. Avago, this one sucked people in with the premium. Can't overpay. The average move on Avago a week is 21 points. It's 21 points, okay? If you bought 50 points out or 80 points out or 100 points out, you're getting obliterated, okay? They suck people in. Don't do that. Now, before... I mean, we will get into Avago if it moves 20. If it needs to move, it doesn't need to move 5 today and 15 tomorrow. It needs to move 20 points in one day. Then everybody will come flying for it. But if it doesn't, it's a tough play. Don't get sucked in. NVIDIA, all the way back to 419. 422 is now the beast. If it trades at 422, it goes nuts. Okay? 422, 422. Uh... Look at the dogs are playing with their big bones and, and dropping them right now. That's that's the noise in the background. Okay. Uh, Lamb Research, working lower. This got all the way to 640. Let it go lower, and then when you get some news, it will move 30 points again that day. Maybe this week, maybe next week, maybe in two weeks, maybe in two months. Don't know. So wait, 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 wait. Pan W added, added uh, to SPX. Probably we'll get to 231. Apple event, where does it go? 288, very possible. Meta looks like 277, 282. Amazon, uh, I like the 127s. If you can get the 127s at 30 cents or 40 cents, and then you wait for this news event, and if it ever happens, it's at 130. If it doesn't, you lose at 30 cents, 40 cents. UPST, 31, 33. Win, 102, 105. MDB, 381, 394, anything over 400 goes nuts. Snowman, 177, 182. Google, 126, 60. Netflix, 406 and 408 accelerator. Caterpillar, 127, 131. Deer, 177, but one, I'm sorry, 377. 394 beast. Watch Deer, 394 beast. ANET, Arista, 171, SM, SMCI, 236, NOW, 554, Microsoft, 336. Tesla looks like a breakout, 221, 226. At 226, if it gets near 225, 
And those options, if they if the stock gets to 225 and the 225s are six dollars, not five dollars, if they're six dollars at the money, we'll tell you 252 is possible. End phase 188 first solar 209. Okay, let's go to comments, questions. Uh, Fed is this week, not right now. I believe the Fed is next week. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tony's forty nine point nine percent of the world is below medium intelligence. Seth comes up with pretty good stuff. What are three a.m. numbers? The three a.m. numbers tell you the ranges. So people put in orders, uh, all kind of orders, if they're not going to be around or whatever, right? So at any time, so big funds and everybody does this. I mean, even you, if you're going to go on vacation and say you have Tesla, you may say, I want to sell it if it breaks 170. And I understand it's 200 because you're on vacation. If it breaks 170, I want to sell it. So stop loss. Or I want to buy it if it takes out 230, like if it gets news or something. So those orders exist. And those orders you see at 3 o'clock. When the market first opens, you see all those orders. That's why it's important. And nobody knows this because everybody in the world is lazy. And nobody is going to tell you you need to get up at 3 o'clock to look except Sam. But Sam does for the last 10 years. And he knows this. Okay? Uh, Pan got a big uh, government contract. I don't pay, and I don't know which one that is. Uh, Tesla's moving. Uh, got big uh, PNW is up on adding to the SPX, guys. Okay? Uh, and that's what we know. That's what we know. Everybody have a great trading day. Stay in chat.